Hey everybody, how is everyone doing? Uh, welcome to my uh, OpenGL using FreeBlood and C++ tutorials. Um, yeah, today we will be setting up a black window uh, using Blood and OpenGL. And uh, yeah, then we'll learn how to draw triangle, quadrilaterals and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to input uh, Blood. Uh, now, uh, if you are on uh, Windows, then you import this like this so you can do um, input uh, you can in, uh, import blood or open gl like this so gl, uh, GL slash gl glut dot h blood h and then you can include from gl uh, gl dot h no <laughs> it's kind of messed up guys uh, yeah so we can import this but this will work in windows and linux but in mac this will not work in mac instead of this what you need to do is you need to type it like this instead of gl we need to use glut glut uh, 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 open graphics library utilities so that is what that means but uh, then if I use this then I can only share to uh, Windows and Linux users but if my friend is on Mac I can't share my code to him uh, so for that we have an easy fix uh, so we are going to use if defined so we type if defined and it's an Apple product <laughs> so if it's running on Mac then do this else so we're going to tell if it's not do this so and then we'll tell and if so we'll end it there and then uh, so we have included our graphics library uh, in the glut and uh, gl to our project uh, so the next thing is the main function i mean the main method so to do that we're going to type in int main and then it will take two arguments uh, one is int arg c and then another is char with a pointer and then we have to take arg v and it's an error okay so once you do that uh, so we have created our main function so let's just do a basic return zero so we have a simple main function so if i run the program now it will do nothing uh, just nothing so it's a program that does nothing yet yeah. it's old uh, so yeah now we have to uh, initialize glut and gl and create a window so let's initialize gl and glut so first let's initialize glut so we'll type in glut gl uh, init for glut to initialize and then we're going to give it two arguments so first of all we're going to give, we should give the memory location or pointer to arg c and then we need to give it the array arg v then 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 we have initialized it um, then we need to initialize uh, we need to give the properties of the window that we are going to create so let's do that by telling glut uh, init initialize a window position so uh, when i create a window where should it be positioned on the screen uh, so if it is zero and zero it will be initialized over here so the window will be over there so if it is 100 100 by 100 so it will be initialized 100 100 pixels in the x and 100 pixels in the y axis and it will be initialized over here uh, but i want it in 100 uh, by 100 pixels so it's just 100 100 so it's it's y coordinates and the zero would be not over there so then we have to tell it that, uh, uh, initialize window size window size and this is the window size i want to just make the window 600 to 600 pixels uh, that once that's done um we are going to create the window so we get to tell that window oh sorry let uh, create window and then we are going to give it a string and this string is just the title of the window so we get to do example zero good good uh, so once you have given 
window. Uh, type the, you have created a window basically. So if I run this program now, I don't know if uh, open the okay. It is you just now saw a window blinking in front of you, and that is the window that we created. So then the next thing that I will do is create an initialization method. I'm going to pile it in uh, for initialization. I'm going to declare the method over here. So I will tell void in it and then I'm going to just uh, and it's going to take uh, no arguments and then I'm going to tell what that will, uh, uh, method is over here. I just uh, formatting and then and then what we are going to do is uh, we going to uh, tell what we need to initialize. So first of all, we need to clear uh, set a clear color. So what that means is when I clear the screen, which color to fill with uh, fill on the screen. So that's a background color of the screen, basically. So I can tell um, gl clear color. And then I have to give f uh, four float values, and those are the color values. So I need black, so I can do 0.0f, 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 basically telling it's black. So it's black color. So we just told, uh, told that our background color is black. That's easy. Uh, then we are uh, we need to set up uh, the metrics for GL. So So we're going to use projection uh, projection metrics. Okay, just need to use projection metrics. So we are going to do that by telling GL met, met, um, T R I X GL metrics mode. Uh, I'm terrible with spellings, by the way. <laughs> GL metrics mode, and I'm going to tell GL and then multiple projection then I would load that by telling gl load identity identity and that takes nothing uh, so once that's done then we are going to um, what are we going to do then yeah we're going to set the coordinate system so to do that we're going to tell uh, we're going to use uh, We're going to use our uh, orthographic view, so we're going to tell GL auto simple as that, and then uh, I'm going to say, set the coordinate system so that the left side of the window is minus one, right side of the window is plus one, bottom of the window is minus one, top of the window is one, and the front of the window is minus one, and further from the window is plus one for 3D imaging. So I, uh, you can do that by telling minus one. One minus one. Uh, you uh, you can see what I'm typing over here. So yeah, minus one, one minus one. And then I'm going to tell one. Simple, simple. So I'm going to save that code. So we have initialized OpenGL here. So this is initializing blood. So blood. Then we initialize OpenGL. GL. Now uh, let's uh, uh, put some things on that. Uh, let's put uh, GL on the left window. So uh, to do that, uh, I'm going to do the following: um, draw um, to window. So to do that, I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to call this void uh, display, or let's, let's call this void render. It takes nothing. Uh, it's a void. It takes nothing. So let's uh, declare that over here, and uh, we are going to tell what we should draw in the window in between there. So first of all, we need to clear the window. We need to clean the window and paint it black. So because we told you know I clear, I want to fill it with black. So I can just tell it by telling GL clear. Good, good. 
GL clear and then I want to clear the color buffer so that I can clear the screen so I can test the GL underscore color underscore buffer bit buffer bit simple as that we have clear clean the window then at last we enter type GL flush because we want to flush everything which is on uh, the window when I clean it so now uh, to draw things I'm going to use the blood display function by turning blood display func func for function uh, so blood display function now this takes a method so I'm going to add render now this render comes from here so this whatever is in this method it should display on that window so that's just what we're telling there then um, we need to wait till user press the close the close button so to do that we can do it very easily use in uh, the gl main loop uh, sorry the g glut main loop everything related to the window is glut so glut main loop and then we after closing we just return zero uh, so uh, we have uh, made a black window uh, i think so let's check if i had done any mistakes so i go to just compile a build run this thing oh look at that we have a 600 into 600 uh, window black window so i hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching and i hope you all learned something uh, so yeah uh, till next time uh, thank you and have a good day